Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore. And with me today here at the International Medical Dental Hypnotherapy Association and the International Association of Counselors and Therapists uh, Annual Hypno Expo 2008 Conference is Mark Babineau. Mark's a clinical uh, hypnotherapist and a certified forensic hypnotist. That's correct. Thanks for being here, Mark, today. And, and tell us about forensic hypnosis and about your work with hypnosis and, and what interested you in hypnosis. Sure. Um, I first got started with hypnosis some 24 years ago when I was able to stop smoking. Uh, it was a group session at the local hospital and I was able to leave with, uh, without an urge for uh, the habit that had controlled my life for half my life up to that time. It was about 30 years old and I'd been smoking since I was about 15. And I vowed then and there that if I ever had the opportunity to learn what this lady had been able to do for me, uh, I was gonna learn how to do it in positive payback. It'll be the same thing and about 30 that's really great yeah 30 percent of my practice is about uh, helping people specifically to let go of smoking habit wow uh, the rest of it is divided among a, a number of different things uh, helping people achieve goals uh, phobia releases uh, uh, organizational skills uh, study skills uh, test anxiety that type of stuff uh -huh. and some of it is uh, forensically oriented which is uh, particular type of application of hypnosis that allows you to help a person who has been an, either a victim or a witness to a crime or to an accident or to another event to better recall what happened. Uh, the results of a forensic hypnosis session are admissible in court. Uh, they, they are can, admissible? Yes, that's uh, admissible in court in most jurisdictions. They may have some that uh, do not allow it. Louisiana, which is where I'm from, allows uh, forensic uh, hypnosis to be used in the courtroom. Now, you're also a, an attorney at law. Right. I've been a practicing attorney uh, for uh, 30 years in October. So you're currently both doing uh, legal work, law work, as well as, as hypnosis. Right. Uh, actually, my hypnosis practice, it, I guess, would be considered part-time. Okay. Uh, I don't have uh, clients every day. Uh, I don't have, uh, but I have a, a a wide variety of clients that I'm able to see. Uh, I had a lady in um, a week ago for uh, shingles. Uh, she in her mid 70s, and she was uh, uh, she had been suffering with that since about 1996. And by her own admission, she was able to reduce her discomfort by about 40 percent in in one session. Uh -huh. Uh, I had a lady with a difficulty in swallowing. Uh, I have uh, this is within the last week. Um, a uh, couple who wanted to stop smoking together because uh, they had basically, I guess, started smoking together. Okay. And uh, I also did a uh, presentation at a, a local leadership conference in the local school. And uh, so I have a, I'm actively involved with the promotion of hypnosis at helping people achieve their goals, change their lives. We're the only creature on earth who are we're aware that we're aware. Is aware of that. Okay. <laughs> At least we're the only creatures who can change our lives by changing our minds. Okay. And, and that's basically what the, the structure of hypnosis is, is to, to go in and to help a person achieve a positive change in uh -huh. their life. So uh, that's how I do it. I, you know. Well, tell our listeners about some of the things that you do. Well, uh, you, you probably noticed this thing in the, in the... You are here. You are here, right. This is actually a... It, it started as a joke uh, with myself. I said, it, it, this has got to be the Cajun GPS in South Louisiana. Cajun okay. jokes are very, very popular. And um, so I, I started promoting it as uh, the Cajun GPS, and it, and, it, and it took off as that alone. But what it really symbolizes is, and when I ask somebody, I said, you can say, what is the greatest moment in your life? And they'll say, well, the birth of a child or a marriage or... Sometimes it may not be uh, it may not be something that you would you would think uh, as being a, possibly a death may be something that had the greatest impact on your life uh -huh. and so it, it may could be a positive impact or, or a negative impact it just depends on the situation but when you ask somebody what is the most important moment in their life uh, sometimes it's like well did you just ask me that question but it's actually the moment you're living now. That's right. Because 
is the only one that you have any chance of controlling. So I use that as a tool in helping people stay in the moment because that's the moment that we control. It's the only moment that we control. We can't do anything about yesterday and tomorrow, none of us are promised uh -huh. tomorrow. So what you do right now is the most important thing that you'll ever do. That's right. Uh, in fact, this morning, I walked up to a lady in the first row of my presentation and I, I said, just who do you think you are? And she looked at me startled and I said, because it's important. It's the most important decision that you make in your life. That's deciding right. Deciding who you are. How you get there, you have to get here first. You have to stay in the moment. You have to control it moment for moment. Uh -huh. And if you do that, you're not burdened by the past. And you aren't burdened by the worries of the future. Okay. So you have complete control. And as long as you do that, then you're in perfect harmony with who you should be. That's great. You just yeah. have to decide who that is. Yeah. And uh, so I use anything that I find useful uh, in helping people make that transition okay. that they need. It, it's a question of getting, uh, submitting something to your subconscious mind and making sure that it, it conforms with your pre-existing uh, pre uh, idea of what should be happening to you or a, a, it's kind of like the idea of, okay, smokers for instance. Uh -huh. The idea of quitting smoking is a great conscious idea. But the minute that you try to act out quitting, you run into the preconceived notion of what a quitter is. Okay. Quitters are losers. Uh, quitters never win. Uh, winners never quit. When was the last time someone congratulated you at quitting something? They're the type of people who quit the team the night before the big game because they got in an argument with the coach or another player. Uh -huh. It's a letdown. And you will never allow yourself to be someone that you despise. That's right. Yeah. So what we do is we change the idea that quitting is not enough. You have to actively decide that you want to be a non-smoker. Okay. And you have to practice. You have to practice being a non-smoker. So that's what I do. Uh, I help people achieve their goals. Great. Uh, help people become better people uh, and help people not only get rid of habits that they don't want, but to develop the ones that they need. Or they okay. Uh, one of the things, too, is as you notice, I'm, I'm kind of uh, taken in by circles, uh -huh. the, the description of a circle. If you do this, if you do this, you can write your goal in the middle of a circle. Okay. Okay. And then around the circle, write any obstacles that are keeping you from achieving your goal. Okay. And then what you do is you just focus on your goal. And you may notice as you focus on your goal, how the obstacles seem to fade away. Okay. Remind yourself that an obstacle is something you see when you take your eye off your goal. If it's clearly stated in your subconscious mind what that goal is, there's no way that you can lose. There's no way that you will not achieve that goal. That's a, a great tool to use with hypnosis. I think so. Yeah. I think so. I think everybody should uh, take a pencil and start writing. Take a pencil and what? Start writing. Start writing. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's 97% uh, of the people don't write down their goals. 3% yeah. who do, after five years, have already achieved that goal. Okay. The other 97% are still wondering what they're going to do. Uh huh. Excellent. Well, Mark, I, I sure appreciate you doing this with me today. And, sure. and uh, I absolutely love your humor. It's always Thanks. great to talk with you and, and laugh with you. So folks, this is Hypnosis Health Info, and I'm Roger Moore. And also look for, uh, for Mark's articles on Hypnosis Health Info in the article section. Have a great day.